Hello, this is Rob, and welcome to the next tutorial on how to create demods. In this tutorial, uh, I just quickly want to go over the attack sounds, the two commands that are mainly used for that. Uh, since I didn't cover them in the previous tutorial, the video is getting kind of long. Basically, uh, this the two commands I'm about to show you will modify the attack sound of when a sprite actually attacks and hits another sprite, what sound it will play. And we're going to use Dink, Dink's attack hit sound as an example. So if you want to open WinDink Edit Plus and open OOTR. Now usually uh, what I'm about to do is modify Dink's attack hit sound inside uh, a script attached to this tree stump. Actually, we'll make a second tree stump, just so it's a separate example here. Make one down here, and we'll call it tree s2. And we'll make a talk procedure. And what I'm about to do is change, as I said, Dink's attack hit sound. Now this wouldn't usually be done this way. This is mainly used in item scripts, so when Dink arms a sword to change his attack sound, so it's to like a, a, the sound of a sword hitting, but I'm just doing this as an example. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to go sp underscore attack underscore hit underscore sound bracket, and then you want to there's going to be two values here. The first one's going to be the sprite that you're setting the attack hit sound, so that's Dink in this situation. You can do this for any sprite, a bonker, whatever, as long as you have a variable that refers to that sprite. So basically we're going to use one, because one refers to Dink, comma, and then the sound number that you want his attack hit sound to be. So if you open start.c again, uh, this is where we find the numbers that refer to which sounds. So let's make Dink's attack hit sound something completely stupid that it wouldn't usually be. So let's make it uh, quack.wav. So basically, the sound number that rever refers to quack.wav is 1. So let's put 1 again. So let's SB attack hit sound 1, 1. Save that and close it. I'm just going to minimize that one. Save this. Let's test this out. So, Dink's attack hit sound if we hit something is normal. If we go and talk to this tree stump it'll change it for us. That's all it'll do. We didn't make it say anything so now if we attack something it's going to make a quack sound instead. quite silly. So that's the attack hit sound. Uh, there is one more command you can use in conjunction with this. Okay, let's open that script again. And basically, uh, this next one is sp underscore attack underscore hit underscore sound underscore speed. And then once again, the sprite that you want to modify the attack hit sound speed and then the speed that you want the sound to play at. This is once again in Hertz. Let's change it to 8000. So it sounds completely different. And you'll see how this actually modifies the speed that Dink's attack hit sound plays at. So first you'll see it's normal. If we talk to this tree stump, I've just hit space, it'll change it to the quack sound. And you can see that's actually playing at a really slow speed. Sounds really weird. Okay, so that is uh, how to modify the attack hit sound of a sprite. I'll see you in the next tutorial.